Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jessica here. Um, so hi, I am celebrating my 1,001, with three zeros, yay! 1,000 subscriber um, milestone has taken me five years to get there. Hopefully it won't take another five years for the next thousand, we're already on our way. So first of all, Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed. And if you're new, please consider clicking that like and subscribe button. But this is for my 1000 subscriber giveaway. And what this is, so today is Sunday, June 18th. The drawing for this, let's get that right off the bat, will be one week from today. So next Sunday, what is that? The 26th or something like that? It's 27th? I don't know. But anyway, the next Sunday from now will be the drawing. And um, it will be a, you know, I'll do the, the, the YouTube comment picker and um, I'll tell you what you need to do in a moment. So let's first, this is talk about what the giveaway is. So let's do this part of it first. So this is a paper bag journal that I made quite a while ago. Made it off camera. I, I, I don't think I ever made a video for it. And what it is is um, a paper bag, but it's got a bunch of papers from, I think it's, it's one of the subscription boxes. It might be, I think it's Taperlogy. Uh, I saw someone do an unboxing and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. So I went and I checked it out and I didn't get the subscription because I can't afford it, but I did get like a sample. So there are lots of vintage style papers in here. And uh, this is a bit, oh, I was going to put some of this in. I'll have to add that in at the end here. Um, this is a piece of ticking cloth with a little bit of a collage and some metal accents and this is a little velvet ribbon that goes behind the focal topper here and then goes through this the signature and around back and it just ties in front and the pockets i have left uh there's a bunch of flippy outy bits so the first flippy outy bit is here um on the cover and there are a bunch of these kinds of interesting vintage style envelopes with just some random uh bits and pieces in them this one has a little Edith Holden envelope this one has I forget what this has oh some bubble printed paper that I made and you can put whatever you would like in them and these just fold up like this, I guess it goes like this. And you can see those collaged vintage style papers there. And then that just gets held closed with like that. Um, this is a piece of scrapbooking paper. Can't remember where it's from. And I have some uh, collage masterboard pieces in here tucked in so this is minimally embellished there are some things tucked in the pockets but it's minimally embellished and there's a reason for that so another collage board this is some italian um what do they call it italian paper but it's not florentine paper it's the um well you know what it is you get it from rachel it's the name's escaping me there's an envelope there and an envelope pocket here and there is an Edith Holden envelope in there with an Edith Holden card journaling card in there and that's just tucked and there's a lot of bubble printed paper there's here's a vintage book page some just some random kinds of journaling papers um, so yeah, so minimally embellished. There's that Italian paper again, and it is called straw paper. Ha ha ha, straw paper. <laughs> so there's tons of room in here for adding your own flair. Some packaging paper. This is bubble printed with 
I think, coffee and distress ink uh, reinker. And here's another piece of that uh, scrapbooking paper. Can't remember where it came from. I don't think I have any others. There is a uh, encyclopedia book page and uh, unembellished tag. Some more Edith Holden pieces. Again, unembellished and unembellished guest check in those pockets. The center signature has a little cute little charm that you could put something. You could put a little piece of something in there and fill it with glossy accents to personalize that. We have some tabs. This is just the other side of all those papers that you've seen. Um, and there's another envelope with some more of those journaling cards. And back here is a little booklet that I believe I got in a swap or a happy mail. Um, and I am including it here. There's a cute, cute little card in here. I think it's stamped and, and colored. Oh, you know what? I think it's a big posh napkin, actually. And then in the back here, I have some more of those flippy floppy envelope things. So they each have a little something surprise in them. And then, but wait, that's not all. Is there something in the back here? No, but this is also open. So that's not all that you get. With this, let me close this up. And it just you just tie it in a little bow. And there's your paper bag journal. But the part of this giveaway is the kit that goes with it of things that you can add to this journal. So you will get a um, uh, flat pen with this. You will get some buttons and this cute little button sewing kit. It comes with a, a, a needle, some thread, a button guide, and a little cutter. And in this, you get a rusty paper clip from Rust Paper Scissors and a little selection of vintage buttons in a vintage button holder. And then we have some other packages of things in here as well. Um, in this bag, we have a, um, a metal tabbed, oops, sorry, uh, index card. We have a little envelope that is chock full of washi stickers of all kinds. We've got a random journaling card. I guess I should take these out. Um, a random journaling card that says Paris, some guest checks, some other ephemera. Oh, there's a washi sticker that must have fallen out. You get some uh, coin holder, two coin holders. You get some real vintage tea cards, some washi tape, some vintage Rolodex holders, um, some random, more of that, those papers, whoops, that's a scrap, from uh, that uh, collage, no, Taperology package, I think it was Taperology, more of those papers, uh, real vintage bus ticket and some Tim Holtz people. These Tim Holtz people are from the Halloween pack, but they're not necessarily Halloween creepy. They're just from that pack. So then these all go into this sack and will get sealed away for transport. I think those will probably go in there too. And then in this one, I'm reusing this is a reused one of those bags. I have a computer data card that has like a little window, some um, random papers, some Florentine paper, um, and this baggie back here. It's a real vintage baggie. And in this baggie, you get some vintage book pages and some floral botanical book pages. That goes in the back of there. And then I'm also passing on, these are some Tim Holtz uh, wallpapers. So you're getting a ton of stuff 
along with the unembellished or minimally embellished journal there and then you also get some um uh i think these are eight by eight right yeah these are eight by eight um they're not all tim holtz there's some tim holtz this is this is also some scrap scrap looking squares that are not tim holtz and then some that are so they, they just kind of go with the that vintage theme and you get another little paper clip so you get like a whole little kit for uh someone to make a junk journal with i think this would actually make a great present um if you wanted to give it to someone who is curious about your junk journaling hobby this might be a nice little self-contained kit for you to give them to explore so what do i need you to do i need you to click like hit that subscribe button and leave a comment and in the comment, I would love for you to um, give me some friendly advice. What is it that you like to see? What attracts you to watch a video? Is it a tutorial? Is it a craft with me? Is it a style of journal that you like? Is it, um, uh, if does, does it hold your attention? if the person is chatting about random things in their life, or do you like it to be like totally to the point? Um, you know, give me some, some ideas of what it is that makes you click on a video and watch it and stay with it. Because I just, I'm just kind of curious to see, you know, what am I doing right? And what do I need to, how do I, can I up my game? So I would so appreciate your help and your friendly advice. And if you wanted to leave a, a kind comment in there too, that would be fabulous. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. A thousand people is a lot of people. That's like a stadium full of, like a high school stadium full of people or a really big theater full of people. So thank you. And, um, leave a comment and I will do my drawing next Sunday. Have a great week. Stay safe. Bye-bye.